Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and this is theCUBE. We're here at 590 Madison Avenue at IBM's Flash Ahead announcement. Uh, Steve Mills and his crew just announced that IBM's going to invest a billion dollars in Flash. They're going to set up competency centers. It's clear IBM, after its TMS acquisition, is all in. We're here with Karim Abdullah of Sprint. Uh, Karim is a, a TMS customer, IBM customer, and a, a practitioner of IT and, of course, of Flash. Karim, thanks very much for spending some time with us. Uh, you're welcome. So we've been talking, we had dinner last night, and we just uh, came off a panel here at, uh, at IBM. Uh, tell us a little bit about, again, how you're using Flash inside a Sprint and, and we're, we're what We're using means Flash in the IT data center space to address many performance issues and storage, most notably in the call center area where we have to satisfy call center customers. We have 121 call centers across the globe, and we have files where they need ready access and to respond to customers' uh, uh, queries and issues. We were having a significant uh, performance issue there, and then by adding flash memory into the environment, we have boosted that response time significantly. In fact, it's led to one of um, our, our recent award where we are actually ranked number two or three in uh, best customer care now in our industry, and part of it has to do with the way our customer care agents are able to respond to the end customer and provi provide resolution to their issues. Can you tie that? You, can you actually tie that benefit to, yes, to yes, Flash? Yes, we can. Really? Yeah, right. we, we can tie the, the fact that they can readily access their data to provide a response to the customer. And then we, we measure the customer care agent's uh, ability to solve, to solve an issue with a first or second call and the response time they take to do that. So if I had asked you two, three, maybe even four years ago, you know, if you're going to use Flash, you would have told me it's too expensive. Too right? expensive. What, what's changed? Uh, the fact that, that Today, you, you saw the announcement, it's around 11 or $12 per gig. That's probably where tier one storage was two years ago. So it's the transition from, from that, that, at a pricing point does not make a big challenge anymore. The problem is you're able to show the customer a cost benefit by able to, to, to respond to a customer, retaining your customer, and at the same time giving them the data they need. So we talked about this on the panel a little bit. I wonder if you could just add a little bit more color. Yeah. You know, there's this, this, this scenario where you're popping in a tier zero, and that's what, what you have done. That's yep. the flash tier. Mm -hmm. But there's also a, a, a discourse in the industry where people are saying, all right, we're going to have all active data on flash, and then the rest of it is going to go to a bit bucket, you know, slow SATA drives. You yeah. don't see it that way, do you? No, we don't, because we've, Part of, of, of our industry requires us to keep data around for too long, and, and most of it has to be accessible, so you need to have tiered storage, meaning high-end and low-end. So we, we don't see low-end storage going away too fast or any anytime soon. In fact, we still have tapes in our environment. So yes, there's a role for TMS-type storage or, or flash memory or flash storage. There's also a role for tiered storage, tier one, two, three, and so forth. And we see them all playing together nicely. And, and you, you put a lot of storage behind the SVC, including the flash, correct? Yes, the, we have. That's IBM SAN volume yes. controller, okay, yep. which is essentially a storage hypervisor. Yeah, it, do, do you put your tier one behind an SVC? Yes, we do. We have tier one, two, three, and now zero behind SVC. Okay, so, and, and you see that as, as evolving just to in, incorporate that tier zero. And then, and then how do you get data off of where it doesn't belong? Let's say the data becomes stale and, and needs to get off of tier zero well, and go to the bit well, bucket. Well, that's the beauty of, of having it behind a, a, a virtualization management structure. This way, you reduce the number of, of uh, hand motions, if you will, or operations and intervention by just having SVC manage that motion for you. It's really automated. Okay, and so, um, you're a multi-vendor shop, like yep. most, most customers. Mm -hmm. uh, you chose the, uh, the, the IBM, uh, Texas Memory Systems yep. you know, system. Why and how are they doing for you? Uh, number one is interoperability. It was easy to deploy, and it just looked like an auto storage node in our infrastructure. They, there were other vendors we looked at. There were a level of difficulty into integrating them in the environment. The other part was getting favorable cost, cost points and uh, with, with uh, TMS, we were able to do that. So that's a block-based device that you yes. just drop in. Yes. It looks to the applications like any block-based yep. device. Exactly. So that really simplifies your life. Yep. Yeah, okay, and long-term, you know, where do you see this whole Flash you know, game going? How is it going to change your infrastructure and your, and your applications and ultimately your business? Uh, in a number of ways. Reduce footprint, reduce overall operations cost, and not just performance to the end customer, but the ability to troubleshoot issues faster. We're approaching real time for most things in the IT environment, not just solving, but, but providing uh, troubleshooting. And we talked in the panel last night, you, you actually see the energy bill, you're one of the IT guys yes. that actually pays yes. the bill, so yes. Flash obviously makes a difference there. Absolutely, you know, my commitment is to reduce uh, power consumption in a, in a data center month over month. 
and, and that, that reporting goes up to the Department of Energy actually because we, we made a commitment to them to lower our energy, energy bill in data centers across the, the country. Now that we are able to do reduced footprint, dense footprint, uh, more efficient storage, uh, as one element, there's better storage uh, servers as well. And uh, now that we're looking into some network elements doing the same thing, which is reduce footprint, reduce cost, and reduce power consumption, we can get to those uh, measurements faster. All right, Karim Abdullah, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Thanks very much yeah. for all the time Thank that you've you you spent with us. And yep. uh, Okay, everybody, this is theCUBE, this is Dave Vellante. Keep it right here. We're at Madison Avenue all day today, and we'll be right back.